Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing another Try Hack Me room called Anonymous, not the hacker group. So this should be a fun box or a fun room. I haven't done this yet, so let's see how it is. So if you can see here, we can come down, obviously you can just go to tryhackme.com slash room slash anonymous, and this is the room here. So if we come down a little bit, there's two flags that we have to get. So if we root this machine, it pretty much proves that we understand the fundamentals, right? Maybe some enumeration, maybe some scanning, et cetera. I did do the, net, uh, the Nmap scan, so we don't have to wait and do all that stuff. But this virtual machine is meant for beginners. Actually, let's start the machine because I stopped it because I had internet connection issues and then I had to reboot my VM. So, so acquiring both flags will, you know, let you know that you have the basic fundamentals and the basic knowledge of Linux and Privesk methods, right? So if you wanna learn more about Linux, while we wait for this, we can right click on here and we can go and you can go to the Linux room. So we'll wait till that boots up or loads up or whatever you wanna call it. I guess there's, you know, I guess there's a problem, but there's definitely some Linux fundamentals uh, for on try hack me. So I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Triacne. You guys probably seen it in videos or you know interviews that I've done with other folks. If you want to learn some of the cybersecurity concepts, it's an awesome, awesome platform to learn. Same thing with Hackerbox and Vuln Hub and Offstack and TCM Security. There's so many different platforms out there to learn. So you know, don't ever just rely on one. You know, practice on multiple. Right. So. Now we have the IP, whoops. Now we have our IP 10.10.43.238. So I'm gonna copy this. I wanna go ahead and open up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ping it first. Make sure it's up and running. And we'll give this a moment because it just came up. There we go. All right. So I am VPN'd in here, obviously, because I'm able to connect to it. So now if I do an LS, I, I have this anonymous.txt because I already ran the Nmap scan prior to rebooting. So if I cat anonymous.txt, we can see some things that are running on here. We can see port 21 FTP, and it's running VSFTPD 2.0.3, uh, 2.0.8 or later. Anonymous FTP allowed, which is a no-no, that's no bueno, but we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. So we keep coming down, we see SSH, Open SSH uh, 7.6 P1. Come down a little bit more. We have SMB, which is port 139 and 445. All right. So this gives us a little insight, right, of what we're what we're really working with. So the first things first. What I want to try to do is just try to FTP. So let me go here and let's just do FTP here, right? So. What I want to do is just do FTP and my IP address, which is 10.10.43.238. Okay. All right. So it's saying we can connect as anonymous. So let's go back to our Nmap just to make sure everything is good to go. So I don't mistype anything. So let's just bring this over here and we can paste this, hit enter and hit enter again because it's allowing anonymous login, so you don't need a password. All right, so if we just type in ls, we see a directory called scripts. Okay, let's see if we cd to scripts. ls, all right, so we have three files here, clean.sh, remove underscore log, uh, files.log, so to do. So, if I was to look at this, obviously the dot log is a log file. Don't know what it is. Uh, then we have a, a, a bash shell script doing something, which is cleaning, I don't know. So what we're gonna do is just pull these down to our local machine, just so we have it locally, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's type in get clean. So that's gonna pull that down. I wanna get remove. And then I wanna type in get to do. Okay. 
So now if I go back to, for example, let's go netcat, it's, it's fine. So if I do an LS, we have these three files here locally, right? So what we can do now is just try to cat them out. Like for example, let's cat to do first. I really needed to disable the anonymous login. It's really not safe. Absolutely. You better disable that yesterday, folks. All right. So now we can look at the removed. So let's cat removed. Okay. So nothing to delete. So it looks like it's running a script. So let's go ahead and cat. Um, yeah, let's cat uh, main.sh. All right, so this is pretty much a file. Looks like a, it looks pretty much like a cron job, right? So it's running this, it's running cleanup script, nothing to do. Yeah, it's pretty much, and then it's telling it to remove. Yeah, that's pretty much, it's it's putting that to the var FTP scripts. Yep, uh, done. So yeah, so it's pretty much a cron job. That's pretty much essentially what it is. All right, so now what we're gonna, what I wanna do is, oh, before we go, let's go ahead and go back and answer these questions. Enumerate the machine, how many ports are open? There was four open, right? Let's just do this while we're, while we're going. Uh, FTP. Whoop, FTP, Jesus. All right. So what services are running on 139 SMB? We saw that. All right. There's a share on the user's computer. What is it called? We don't know yet. So now let's go ahead and go back here. And what I want to do is do SMB. So if I can do SMB map, SMB map, and then we can do a dash H, and then I don't know my IP address because I forgot that already. Okay. So let's see if it gives us any shares that reside on that machine. And it's working on it. Guest session, 445. All right, so, all right. So my SMB shared directory for picks. So it's picks, I would assume. Let's go back down here, type in picks. All right, four for four, so far so good. So now we have to get the user flag and the root flag. All right, so let's go ahead and just do that now. Let's go back here. All right, so what I wanna do is now, what we need to do, let's go back to, um, let's just go and map, that's fine. Let's, um, let's cat this clean, that SH. So what we need to do here is this is running a job. I want to try to explain this the best I can. So it's running a job on the server. So if we replace this with a malicious bad boy file, it's going to run this file to pop a reverse shell, right? So in this netcat, I want to go ahead and just put netcat, um, yeah, LVMP1234. That's fine. So I just have to make sure my script is listening on one, one, two, three, four, and I will probably forget, but that's fine. That's why we have it there. So what I wanna do is go out to the internet and we have to find a reverse shell. So let's go ahead and just go, for example, um, Python reverse shell. All right, uh, let's do, that's fine, we can do, Let's just look at a few here. Okay. Uh, Python, where's Python? Here it goes. I'm just gonna go right, right to Google, see what, what works, what doesn't. All right, so what we're gonna do is pull one of these one-liners, copy one of these, make some modifications, and then we should be golden, all right? So let's go ahead and do that now. Do, 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 do. I'm just looking. Uh, socket. Just want to make sure I'm picking the right one. Let's see. OS. Do, 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 do. Let's see this one. I want to copy this one just to just to give it a shot. All right. So what I want to do really quick. Not that. Sorry about that. All right. So let me open up a 
a text editor, new file, and I want to paste this really quick. Let's make this larger. So, like I said, I have to make some modifications to this. Let's make this like, like that. So I'm going to change this to one, two, three, four, right? Because that's what I what I said. And then this is going to be the IP of the VPN that TryHack uh, Try Hackney gives us. So let's go ahead and just do an if config tunnel zero. And this is going to be the IP address in my case, right? So let's go ahead and change this IP. OK, so this all looks good. We change the IP address, and then we change the port that we need to listen on. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. And we can just minimize this for now. And what I want to do is do nano queen.sh. And we're going to make this modification here. So let's go ahead and just do do do. And just remove all this. And once we remove all of this, then we can pretty much, you know, paste that, paste that uh, file, uh, paste that, the script in, and then we should be good. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and paste. And then in my case, I'll do a control X, Y, yes. And then I wanna go ahead and cat that out really quick. Whoops. All right, cool. So we have our file created. So now what we have to do is pretty much put this onto the server, right? So we have to get this onto the server. So if we do an LS here, well, I, get, I guess we got timed out, that's fine. Let's go ahead and FTP back. And then let's go make sure I type in the right thing. Let's cat anonymous. And I just wanna make sure that I put in all the right info. Enter, enter. All right, so ls, all right, cd back into scripts because that's where we have to get this. Okay, so let's do an ls. All right, cool deal. So now we have, let's make sure again, I just like to, I like to triple check, I don't know. All right, so we have this now. Now we can go ahead, oh, we, I already ran it. See, I already forgot that I started that, a uh, netcat listener. So now what we can do is upload the new file that we created onto the server, right? So how can we do that? We can just go ahead and put it. So let's do put clean. And we're putting that from our local machine up to the server, right? So we'll let that do its thing. And in a second, hopefully if I did this correctly, we should get a shell here. Once we have this shell, then we can start maneuvering and get the user flag and then the, the root flag and all that good stuff. So let's, uh, Get a little drink of tea. There we go. Now it ran. Hold on. My mouth is getting dry. I don't know why. All right. So what what just happened? So when that cron job ran, it ran the new script that cleaned out sh. And now with our malicious file, it was able to pop a reverse shell. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. So now let's do an ls. We have user.txt. So if we cat user dot user dot text. All right, so this is the first flag. Let's copy this. And let's go ahead and come back here and paste it here. Submit. And if you ever need help, like we can hit the hint here. Uh, what's the log file doing there? And cat won't work, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, if you you know if you have a if you you, you know need help like for example the root let's see they remind you outside research okay so what that means is probably go out on the internet and research you know so that's fine we'll do our research that's that's what I'll, that's what we do right in the cybersecurity world so now if we do for example pwd see where I'm at so I'm in the home directory right so now what I need to do is like who am I you can do all these uh, cool commands. So now what we have to do is privesk. So what we need to do is we can try to do sudo l. All right, so, you know, obviously there's, there's nothing working here. So what we can also do is we can try to find any, any kind of 
like leverage or privilege escalation. So we can go out to the internet, but I have a little cheat sheet that I take notes and taking notes is super, super critical because for simple things like this, but we can do find, uh, just do a, I'm probably gonna have to re, uh, go to my notes, but give me one second. Let's see if I can remember as much as I can. So type, and then we can do the file to uh, do, 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 think. I think this is where it is, dev null, dev null. Let's see if we can find anything. Okay. So what we're gonna look for is any kind of, you know, envir environmental files. All right, so we have this user bin, you know, ENV. So what we can do now is we can go out to like, out to the internet, and that's why I said probably do the research. So I like to use uh, G GTFB bins or GTFO bins. So when you, what we can do here is go to environmental, let's just type in ENV, and then we can do SUID, right? So what we have here, we have it right here. So this is pretty much, you know, if the binary has a SUID bit set, right? So what we're gonna do is, is copy bin, uh, bin sh-p, and what we can do is utilize that directory. Let's see if that works. So technically, if we just type in usr, usr bin env, all right, who am I? We are root, so it was that simple, right? And this is why like these little cheat sheets and your notes are really, really critical. So what we can do is just pretty much cat root that root.txt because that's normally where the root files are, the root, the root flag. So we can copy this, come back to try hack me, submit, and voila, whoa, we're hackers. So that was a pretty cool room. I really like that. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. If you have any questions or any roadblocks, let me know and if I can help. But first try to research it, right? Like sometimes I get stuck on a video and I have to research it myself. So don't feel like you have to know everything. It's a learning curve for everyone and every day we learn something different. So hopefully it's been cool and informative for you guys. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's grow to 50,000 by June. July. I wanted, I wanted to be at 50,000 subs by like mid-year, um, but I'm probably going to be at 50,000 hopefully by the end of the year. But hit that subscribe button now, guys. It's free 99. All right, guys. Thank you so much for viewing. Until next time, have a good day.